is it all set up? Is it all working? Is it all going good? Okay, hold on. Okay, uh, everything's working, everything's set up, hopefully, uh, good. So, um, even though that was a little bit of a rocky start, hello people, this is EGK1, and today, holy hell, we are recording Halo 5, the first episode of Halo 5, <laughs> on Twitch. Like, I'm, I'm doing this on Twitch right now. And, um, thank you for the follow on Twitch, by the way, Baron. Holy hell, didn't actually see you there. I don't know why I keep saying holy hell. So, first episode of Halo 5. Holy shit. This is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be good. Um, hopefully it's not as jumpy and not as shitty as it usually is. Um... Ah, uh, Jesus, hold on. Um, Yeeted is messaging me at the moment. Um, Yeeted Skeet, if you guys know him, check him out, all that. Um, Destiny asked me to do Almighty titles, so by the end of this first episode, I'm going over to there, help him there, and then we're going to do this. But, today, as of recording this, it is Anzac Day. My God. If you're not Australian, you do not know what that is. Basically, Australia, um, Australian, um, Australian New Zealand Army Corps is basically what the um, the Anzac is, and I believe, like, it's it's a day of remembrance for I was it the Battle of Gallipoli? Hmm. You you can you can talk, yeah. They they can't hear anyway, but. I can edit it out, or I can just leave it in, or whatever. Th this conversation isn't technically happening, it's only my side that's being recorded, so it doesn't really matter. But, Anzac Day. My god. Mm. Mm. Ah. Team Osiris. Over the last 72 hours, five colonies have experienced identical events. Massive destruction, forerunner in origin. And Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey has managed to contact these massive subtitles. To have information on these attacks. Halsey is currently in Covenant custody on the surface of Kamchata. Your mission is to insert behind enemy lines, retrieve Halsey, and bring her back to infinity. Be advised, Dr. Halsey is accompanied by Covenant Supreme Leader Jewel Amdama. Oh uh, yeah, this is playing off of, um, Spartan Ops, so I might... I might, I might do Spartan Ops after Halo 5. I might do... Spartan Ops, and then, um, Halo Wars, Halo Wars 2, and then... Yeah, Halo 5, Spartan Ops, Halo Wars, Halo Wars 2. Definitely. Fire Team Osiris. The light is green. Yeah. Ah. Oh. See, people people hate Halo Five Guardians. Sort of, in a sense, it's through. It's through like massively, massively huge, like Elton John sized nostalgia glasses. Um, but like this here, this scene here is literally what Spartans are about. Like, dropping in, doing this shit, taking them out. I mean, it's like, it, it's very, it's very showy and it's a lot of showmanship. But, every time I see the scene, I don't know why I always think of fucking Dan Bull's Halo 5 rap. Like, if you, 
If you want to see that, that's in the description. Like, and also in the eye icon up top. It's a very good song. It's like, it's very nice. Like, even while I'm saying this, it's just going through my head. And I bet if I even rewatch this, it'll go back through my head even more. <laughs> this. I'm a guardian guard of the gun, the garbage and all big part. And if you're not, this part is gonna pick you up with final big arm clips a lot. Second to second, it quits in the speed. And I'll teach you how to let them lift because it needs to strategically keep in the gates. And I'm pressing for a weapon, never know when I should leave it. That, like that, is just constantly stuck in my head every time I see this scene. <laughs> it's just like, it's just fucking Jesus Christ. It's good. Like, it works well with it. And. Dropping in. Here we go. And uh, I, I keep getting like, they're like, okay, the series isn't supposed to be like me criticizing every little thing, but I genuinely do like Halo 5 in some aspects. Like, that scene was awesome. The fact that the multiplayer, even though it's not split screen, you get a different perspective of every character whenever you do this. I like that. It, it's very nice. Oh, I remember the controls. Hell yeah. And like it, it, it feels a little bit nice to have um, a sprint and boost system. Even though like, personally, it's not the best, but like it feels a lot really COD esque, and I don't like that. But in saying that, they also put in clamber, which I'm all for. Ah, uh, first assassination of Halo 5. Ha <laughs> ha! Now I need to get a... Ah, uh, I need to get a soldier. Need to... Also, that. I, l I like that they've included this shit. Okay, I need to assassinate. In, in this playthrough, what I need to do is assassinate a soldier and assassinate the Warden Eternal. That last one's going to be a very annoying thing, but... <gasps> ah, fuck me. Nope, restarting that checkpoint. Press the start button. Okay. Sometimes, uh, it is very annoying with that stuff. Ah, great. Okay. Fuck you. Veil. Oh, fuck off. That's also one thing that I can care for is killing your teammates and the revive system. There. Stay the fuck on the ground. There we go, that's a lovely screenshot. That that's that's lovely to see, like on my perspective. I like that. Oh, this recording is a hell of a shit show, but like it it looks nice. Oh shit. Oh Jesus. I just I just detoed that. Okay, let's assassinate a soldier. And assassinated. Hey, tick that off the list. Oh yeah, soldiers off the list. Now all we need to do is do the Warden Eternal, and we've assassinated every assassinatable um, thing in the game. Uh, enemy class, I should say. I I love how they heavily put the destructibility of this level like in the forefront of the level and they're like okay you can do this this happens this is a thing oh shit on both of my testicles holy shit and pick me up motherfucker pick me up 
<laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Buck. You you were very helpful in ODST. You really, really the boredom in Mombasa Strait. Okay. Wait, is it up there? Okay, there's also data pads and go... Ah, I got it! Yay! I would have been your daddy. Um, I've already 100%ed this game, <laughs> but yeah. Get up. Fucking stupid characters. But yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Like, it's, it's nice. And the fact that you can ping people to, like, move places and do things and all that stuff and then scan everything, like, it's, it's nice. Like, th at this point, I feel, like, after... How long has this come out, been out for? Maybe... Five years? About five years. Like, since 2015, I think. Did Halo 5 come out in 2015? I don't know. But still, like, since the release of this game, and all the random shit that has been happening in it, it's like, it's... It, it sucks to see it um, get to that level. Oh, uh, the Lawgiver! No! Oh, <laughs> uh, right, you can also find random weapons everywhere. But still, um... What was I going to say? Oh yeah. So, the fact that this game has come out five years, I've had like, major time to reflect. Also, as you can see, not there, or anything. Um, I'm like level 82 on this. So, um, I'm getting not even close to 152. But yeah, I'm still good enough. And have enough playtime to actually say that this game isn't really as bad as everyone says. Like, yeah, it's a it's a shit show, and it was a shit show at the beginning, but like, it's not that bad of a game. Why am I scanning everything again? Why am I doing all this? I don't need to. But yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, it, it's not as bad as everyone says. Like, it plays weird, it plays different, but it doesn't... To me, at least, it doesn't not feel like Halo. And a thing that I've always, always, that I've always said is that if it at least feels like Halo, then it is Halo. Regardless of developers, regardless of anything, it's still Halo to me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Down there. Boop. Boop. Yeah, like... I know that's a very unpopular opinion, but I... Come from not like a fucking purist fan. Like a fucking... Like like a Gen 1 or an Xbox. I'm, I'm on Pokemon. Um, I'm not like a purist of Halo. But I have been playing it since I was six. Or like five or six, so I think I have enough background in this game to say that it's not that fucking bad, comparative to everything else. Get out of here. I also love how they changed the knights here. They changed the knights from being, oh yeah, they're the, the forerunner version of the elites. Now, they're, the soldiers have taken up that role, and the knights are now the hunters, basically. Ah, oh, that is so satisfying to do. Nice to see how, like, everything has different setups and all that, and I just got a message from who? Oh, okay. Never mind. Don't worry. So. Let me assassinate. 
I can't assassinate the knights. Okay, can I not assassinate knights? I'm gonna assassinate you though. <laughs> Never mind. I <laughs> guess. There we go. Okay, that level is complete. We are going to go good in on this. Good in on this. Yes, that is. That is what exactly words sound like. And fuck. <laughs> So um, the way I'm going to be constructing these episodes, um, if you're watching this on Twitch as I'm recording them, um, hello, but if you're watching this on YouTube after I have recorded them, um, what I'm going to be doing for this Halo 5 series is instead of like, oh, it's a level and then game, I mean, it's a level as an episode, I'm going to probably do um, segmented aspects. So like if it's in specific story sections, I will keep those as the episodes. If that makes sense. That should make sense. I don't even think it makes sense to myself. And I'm the one that's fucking recording them. But hey, Jul and Dama's dying. He was supposed to be a big, a big factor in this game. And he's killed off in the first mission because Spartan Ops Season 2 shouldn't be a thing. And he touched breast. Grilldorm! Haha! <laughs> there we go. Boom! They they have they reuse a lot of shit in this. Like, this at the start, and then that is the end. Like I I get it. It's supposed to be like a callback thing, but they also use the uh, the idea of tenacity a lot, and that is really 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 weird. Like it's something that I never understood with the story. Is like okay, we get it. Like humanity has this thing where it's like oh yeah, um, we are going to do this thing, it'll lead to this, it'll lead to this, we will win, or we will lose, that's all we do. That's not technically tenacity, it's just going and completing an objective. And I don't feel that that's tenacity. Okay. And, we are in with the Master Chief. Hold on, let's, um, so, this will be mission two. Not really a good aspect of what I said is going to happen with the story, but that will be the first actual episode. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you're watching this on Twitch, then, hell yeah, you are the first people to see it. But if you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe up top. There will be a video on the right, and a playlist on the left, or a playlist on the right as well. Epigamer King 1 out, and I will see you guys in Mission 2, Blue Team.